guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a video of a full faced first impressions on all BYS makeup. Um, so I have picked up a whole bunch of stuff for full faced first, first impressions um, and I'm really nervous because I have a feeling some of these are going to most likely be a fail but we never know. We might find some really good holy grail stuff in here, so. Okay, so we're gonna start with primer today. Um, and I found the BYS Primer Spray, and then it just says Prep Skin for Makeup Application, and this is what it looks like here. It's just a spray primer in a bottle. Now, I have not opened any of this stuff, so bear with me. Oh, I hate this plastic shit. <coughs> So I'm just gonna shake it up. So I'm going to spray this on. It smells a lot like the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. It has like a really nice refreshing feeling. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to settle and see if my face goes tacky or anything like that. Not that that's a bad thing. I like I like tacky primers. So yeah, my face is definitely a bit sticky, a little bit tacky. But I don't know if that's because also my moisturizer that I've got on. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight into foundation today and I'll do my eyes and stuff like that at the very end. Um, so I found this BYS Pure Silk um, Serum Foundation and then it just says Buildable Coverage. Um, and I got mine in the shade True Beige. Now, I have no idea if this is going to match, but we'll find out. Um, what drew me to it was the fact that it's got like a little dropper on it. I thought that was really cool. Um, you don't see many like a drugstore brands have that. So I was like, well, so I'm just going to give it a really good shake. So to apply my foundation today, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics 117 brush and I'm actually going to spray some of that primer spray on it just to make it a little bit damp. Okay. It's literally like absolute water. This is not forever. Jeez Louise. Okay. Oh, I just dropped it. Oh, it's on my shit! Yoshi! That is going straight in the wash after this. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend this out. It's actually a, not a bad match, but hopefully it doesn't oxidize. It's definitely a little, I don't know. It's not bad, that's for sure. Like it could be so much worse. I think I use too much, but oh. It's definitely not thick in any way, shape or form. It's overly runny, it's really liquidy. So if you buy this foundation, you really only need a small amount. That was my fault for using so much. The coverage is actually really not that bad. Like. I mean, I don't hate it. I can definitely still see like all my pimples, <laughs> like the redness of my pimples as well. But it has evened out my skin tone really well. And if I'm completely honest, like this match, like this matches my skin like perfectly. So I'm, I'm glad I got that shade. So I'm just gonna go in with concealer next. And for the concealer, I bought the BYS Concealer Duo. Now I think like this part here is a stick and then like there's a liquid at the bottom. And then in the middle of the stick, it looks like a little hydrating center, but it actually looks like plastic. So, um, oh look, more plastic. Oh, and I got the concealer in the shade O2 Sand Beige as well. They, I think they only had like two options and I just looked for the lightest and this is what I found. So this is the hydrating stick. You can see there's like a little center in the middle of it. Well, if you get this concealer, you'll need to like destroy the packaging at the back because it won't open. Well, it didn't open for me. So, okay. Ooh, that's such a nice smell. Okay, so I'm gonna use this end because I, I trust it more. Actually, I'm gonna use this side, uh, this part of the concealer on this side of my face and then the stick on the other side of my face and I'll see what the goal is. So I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eyes 
I'll put it on like half my face. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this in. It's like kind of just gone. Okay, so it's gone a bit funny on my nose. I don't know if it's highlighting. Do you guys think it's highlighting? Okay, let's try underneath the eyes. Let's just hope I don't go blind. Oof. Okay. That dries really quick. So, if you are going to get this, or you do have this, or you just bought it or whatever, um, do section by section, because that just dried really quick and I just kind of moved around my foundation a bit. I feel like it's highlighted quite well underneath the eyes, but the other spots I'm not too sure about. I don't know. Okay, so let's try the stick part. Oh, okay. Not creamy. Not that creamy. It kind of tugs. Oh my god! Why does that smell? That actually reeks. This side smells amazing. That just smells like actual dog shit. Okay, so let's blend this in. I feel like that's actually done a little bit better at highlighting. Could I be wrong? Am I seeing things? I don't actually know. This one does not dry as fast as the liquid end, but I like the liquid one so much better, so... Okay, and to set my face today, I came across the BYS Translucent Powder. It's weird because it says Translucent Powder Natural. Is that the colour? Even though it's meant to be translucent. That is actually pink. What the... I'm actually going to use the little powder puff that came with it, just, you know for the sake of the video. Never mind, I'm not going to use it. That's bloody terrible. I'm going to go with my beauty blender. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with a big powder brush and I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. Either the foundation has oxidized or the powder has completely changed the color. It has gone a bit darker, so I'm like more yellowy tone down here, and then I'm just more like brown y color. Does that make sense? And I've noticed that it has not set my under eyes very well because the concealer has kind of creased a tiny bit. Okay, so I will come back to the rest of the face later. I'm going to move on to my eyes and stuff now. Um, I found this, which I thought was really cool, so I'm actually quite um, excited to use it. This is the BYS Liquid Brow Pen, and I was like, what? Um, so it just says, create a fuller look, no wax or powder build up, build up all day wear, natural brown color. Um, now, this is the only color I could get, and my eyebrows are black, so... Let's just hope this matches and I don't have like red eyebrows. Whoa. Okay. Let me show you this, okay? So on the packaging, it's got like this really cute little felt tip pen, right? That's what that's what I thought I was getting. What the What is that? What is that? They are not the same BYS. Let's fill in my eyebrows. So I'm just going... Oh, I've never even used one of these before, so I don't even know what the fudge I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Oh no. It is very hard to get everything even and you can see like where I've drawn just under here it's just like a really blunt blunt line I can't 
can't really scrape it but I feel like this would be good though to create like little hairs at the front so we're gonna try <laughs> I can't take myself seriously oh jeez okay so I'm gonna try and do the little hairs this is so fun I think it look <laughs> I can't even do it because this brush is just huge. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eyebrow and I will be right back. <laughs> um, okay, so I look like I'm currently dyeing my eyebrows. <laughs> I feel like this one's turned out a little bit better because I used a much softer hand. Um, but. Oh. Oh, this is a huge fat no from me. Um, I did like, you know, trying to use it as a little brush strokes. I feel like this side, this side turned out a bit better. The only thing I do not like is that it is very hard to try and cover your entire eyebrow. Um, I've still got patches everywhere and sometimes when I would go over them, the product was just kind of like moving around. Um, it is very pigmented. You can clearly see that. <laughs> Um, feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna try this as an eyeliner because I feel like this would make a better eyeliner. I'm not too sure. We'll see. But for filling in like your entire eyebrow, um, no. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow now. I'm gonna go in with the BYS Peach Palette. Um, I've actually had this for a while, but I've only swatched the shades. I have not actually used them. So. I'm going to give these a go today. I really don't know what I'm going to do, what kind of look I'm going to do. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is this one here, which is called Enticing. And, like, straight off the bat, I already know that these are crazy pigmented. Um, so, these will not let, do, let me down. So, I'm going to put Enchanted in my crease from inner corner to outer corner. And I'm just going to very softly start creating a shape. Okay, so once I have got that shade down, the next one I'm going to go in with is this one right here, which is called Lavish. And these are so powdery, but they're so pigmented. I'm just going to kind of pop that in my outer V, and then I'm just going to slowly bring it into my crease. Oh, and I'm using a Avon blending brush. At the end of a black hole. These eyeshadows honestly just blend so, so effortlessly and they just, they blow out so well. And then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and just make sure that these edges are really well buffed out. Okay, so I just noticed something. I was looking at my eyelid and like right near my lower lashes. I mean my, my upper lashes. I don't know if you can see that, but the concealer just on this eye has all like bunched up and it's like going all through my eyelid, uh, eyelashes and I can actually scrape it off. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray um, one of my little Morphe brushes with some of that primer spray. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the shade Dashing because I'm like dying to use this. I really want to. And then I'm going to apply that all over my lid. That's so pretty. I'm just going to try the other side without putting any of the primer spray on. I just want to see what it's like with a dry brush. It's like just as good, that's crazy. I'm then just gonna go back in with that blending brush and I'm gonna go in with Enticing and also a little bit of the peachy, um, lavish color. And I'm just going to make sure there is no like harsh lines with the um, lid shade. Okay, so with a pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, with uh, which is called Brazen um, and it's like a really deep, like shimmery shade and I'm gonna pop that on my outer corner 
For my inner corner, I think I'm going to go in with these two shades here. This one here is Dazzling. Oop. This one's Dazzling. And then this one is Slay. So these are both like champagne peach colors. So I'm going to pop that on my inner corner for a nice big pop. Okay. Wow. Oh, these are so nice. Oh. That dazzling shade would be so good as a highlighter. I'm also going to apply this on my brow bone just a tiny bit. By the way, my eyebrows feel a little bit tacky and seriously stiff, but there is no like, there's nothing coming off, so. There's nothing. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with, um, what's it called, Enticing, which is that brown shade. I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that pinky lavish shade that I put through my crease as well. And I'm just going to buff a tiny bit of that in. So I definitely, definitely like this, like, a lot. I need to play around with the other colors. Obviously, this is not a look that I would usually do. I just wanted to use as many colors as I possibly could to really give this a good chance. Um, and from the colors that I have used, I'm very impressed and I will definitely be using this. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use that eyebrow pen for some eyeliner. Oops. <laughs> so let's just see how this goes. This is incredibly hard to use as an eyeliner. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see like the sides here, how it's just like all cracked apart. And like, I'm trying to fill it in. Honestly, this is a big, big fat no, but I'm gonna do the next one as best as I can, but this is really hard. It is extremely patchy and I just can't get like a sharp line. So I'm just gonna have to do what I can. Okay, I give up, I give up. I hate it. I hate that product. I don't like it at all. So apart from my eyeliner not being, you know, even whatsoever, and it is so incredibly thick, we're going to move on to mascara. Um, so I found this BYS um, Volume and Lengthening Mascara. Oh no. It's a fiber-based mascara. Oh, I like the feel of it though. It feels like the NARS packaging. Look at this. <laughs> what the f oh my god. Okay, so a lot of excess product comes out. Honestly, the brush does not look that bad. It looks quite decent. <coughs> it does not smell decent. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's actually any fibers on it. Oh no, wait, there is. Okay, it's literally doing nothing. I feel like it's just tinting my eyelashes, like that's it. That mascara is a big fat no from me. It's literally just tinted my eyelashes pretty much. It's made them like the ittiest bit longer, but that's Okay, it. so I have these pairs of lashes from BYS as well. I bought these actually for Halloween, so I know these aren't that bad, but these are like the really, really overly dramatic ones. So I'm gonna put them on and I will be right back. So for my blush and bronzer today, I'm gonna to go with my Sculpt and Glow palette. Now I know, we all know that how much I love this from the highlighters in here, but I actually haven't used the blush at all and I've only used the bronzer once and I actually can't remember if it was good or not because I used it months and months ago. Um, and I do have another highlighting thing here to use so I don't cheat, you know, by saying, you know, it's already good. So I'm gonna give it a really fair go. So I'm gonna go with my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm gonna take the bronze shade. Now this bronzer is really shimmery, so. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that translucent powder um, and a small brush, and I'm just gonna use it to like clean up underneath here, because it looks really bad. Okay, so for my blush today, I'm gonna to go in with the shade right here, which is called Peach. And it's like a tangerine peach color. So, oh wow, that's powdery and very pigmented by the looks of it. So, 
to put this on. Okay, so for highlighter, I found the BYS Highlighting Trio. This is it here. So it's got these two little shimmery shades and then this one down here, which just looks like a, like a sheer, like matte highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this lighter shade in the middle because I am drawn to that one compared to the others. This is not forever. Folks changing like the weather. Holy cr Oh, wow, too much, too much. Okay. Too much. Too much, too much, too much. Holy. Holy, this is, this is more pigmented than this, the ones in here. Whoa. Are you guys seeing this? Yep, okay, um, that is my favorite. With that darker shade, which this this one down here is, because it's quite peachy. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. Whoa, what? Okay, so now moving on to lips. There really wasn't that much to choose from when I went to my Kmart. Um, so I got this BYS matte lipstick um, in a bullet form. Um, it is in the shade Espresso. Okay, that is literally poo brown. I didn't realize that. I have poop on my lips. Okay. It's not the creamiest, it does tug a lot. So I'm just going in with a lip pencil to try and like clean it up because I literally can't get a crisp line with this because it just tugs. This is really hard to get even. Like some spots are still really patchy and when I go back over them, it like loses the color payoff and just kind of spreads everywhere. So I'm gonna finish off with the setting spray. Um, this is just the natural setting spray. They did have a matte one as well. Okay, that is overly wet. Well, okay guys, this <laughs> this is my completed look from trying out all of the BYS makeup. Honestly, there was more God knows than there were hits. Um, I don't mind the foundation, to be honest. I am going to give this another try. Um, the color has settled and I'm not as pink anymore. Everything has settled. I don't think the translucent powder has changed. Um... Like the, the color of it or anything like that. I think it just went through a bit of a funny moment. I'm not too sure. Um, with the concealer, I only liked the liquid side. I hated the stick end. So the mascara, the brow pen and the lipstick is a big fat no from me, unfortunately. I feel like I need to give this another go. This is like really good, I guess, for super, super natural lashes. So if you just want that slight tint. I feel like that's what's going to be good for you. Jesus, this is not good at all, unfortunately. For me, it just hasn't worked for me. It's made my brows way too fake looking. They look incredibly fake. I look like I've gone to a salon to get my eyebrows tattooed and they just never wiped off the stuff. So, <laughs> not my thing at all. Um, and the lipstick is just too patchy. The primer spray and the setting spray, honestly, I never know if these things work. I didn't hate them. I probably will use these again and again. I do like the smell, so they're all good in my books. The translucent powder as well, don't hate it. It's just another translucent powder. I don't think it's altered the look, I mean the color of my foundation. The peach palette is definitely a massive love. Um, I really like this one. The blush and the bronzer, I'm still a bit funny on. I feel like I need to use them a little bit more. This, however, Holy smokes, like I am in love. Hands down, you need to get the highlighting trio. It is the most amazing thing. I feel like it's more pigmented than the ones that are in the Sculpt and Glow palette. Okay guys, and that is the completed look, the completed review and everything today on BYS makeup. There was some hits, there was some absolutely no's, there was some stuff going in the bin. But all around, I had a lot of fun filming this. I love trying out new makeup. If you guys have any requests for me to try out 
any other brands to do a full face first impressions on, please leave them in the comments down below because I love these videos. They are so much fun. So guys, if you ended up liking this video today, which I'm really hoping you did, don't forget to give this video a really big thumbs up before you go because it helps me out so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave as well so you guys know when I upload new videos and click the little bell button as well so you get notifications from me. But until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!